Mota exclusive dimensional bean Kai with another exclusive grand rising kings queens gods and goddesses this video is going to be about how to drive without falling asleep because the thing is we all get on a road we all take care of our responsibilities duties and obligations but when we're on the road things happen and of course, when we outwork our vessels, which is our spirit, our soul, and our body, we get out on. And especially when you're driving, all from work to home or places that you actually travel. So in this video, I'm gonna be, this is going to be a quick video. It's going to be common sense. And I'm going to actually help you guys on what can actually benefit you. This way, you won't have to pull over. Or you won't have to go get coffee or you won't have to need anything externally for you to actually utilize this car remedy to keep you going straight forward on the road so y'all gotta understand I understand I, I do everything with the spirit so depending on how your natal alignment is and depending on how you vibrating that's gonna always dictate whether or not how you operate on the road so for instance what car are you driving is that car is a good is a is it a good vibrational car is it a car that's actually a positive car or is it a negative car because you got to understand and understand that everything holds frequency vibrations and energies so basically you can be driving somebody else's car and you could be actually picking up frequency vibrations and energies of being tired depending on how that person that owns that car is driving that car for instance if that person is a low vibrational being if vibrations is low they are toxic and they're not actually sufficient they're gonna add all of that energy into that car and then it's gonna actually spread and expand and create a ghost and now they're gonna trap that energy into that car and if you put bad energy into a car a car gonna actually Blend off that energy right back at you. And depending on how things is fluctuate, and how things go, you can be diving in somebody else's energies. You can be experiencing somebody else's intakes. So with that being said, that can also attract to you. You could just get into somebody's car and just drive in, you start falling asleep. You start yawning, the eyes start going off, the eyes start burning. These things happen on a day-to-day -day basis. I gotta understand and understand that. This is something that's actually risky. So what you need to do, what you need to do is, every time you get into somebody else's car, which is as a guest car, talk to that car. Say, this car, it feels good to drive this car. It feels good to operate this car. It feels good to drive this car. It feels good to put good energy into this car. It feels good to control this car. It feels good to drive this car. It's, unconsciously subconsciously and consciously train and program that car to go for it to go in your favors because you gotta understand and understand you're using this thing it's not using you you're programming it you're driving it you're the controller of it you're the aspect of it but basically what are you expecting from it for me you're expecting this car to turn on drive smooth sail you're not expecting it to actually brush up against you <coughs> goes toxic energy towards you no you want to get in that car drive it everything go well and smooth now with that being said if you want to actually get up to the point where your spirit is drained you overthinking you stressing so basically you're going to outwear your spirit then you're going to feed that to your um soul you're going to outwear your soul then now boom it's going to go to your physical body and then boom once it hits your physical body you're going to experience tiredness numbness and what that does is that's going to actually put you in the vibration of being tired being drained out being worn out being being lazy and you're going to over experience being tired and now with that being said when you do that i'm going to show you a technique that's po that's possible that'll actually help every person place a thing this way you won't have to pull over so you won't have to get out the car. This way you will just be driving smooth self. And you won't even have to experience all that turmoil. Because the thing is, I've used to experience this. But I got to understand and understand. 
I always question things. I don't just go with the flow. Why am I feeling like this? What spirit, what soul, what vessel was sending me these frequency vibrations and energies of me actually being able to drive but experiencing almost falling asleep? Now look, pay attention. This is the common technique. It's called the inhale, exhale, and don't receive. Because every time you got to understand, understand, all we do is receive. And when we stop receiving, we actually reprogram and recharge our three vessels, which is our spirit, our soul, and our body. Because we're releasing things that don't exist, which is things that already existed and took shape and form. This way it's not pondering and holding you back. You're releasing it. You're giving it nourishment. You're actually expanding these things and actually filtering it. So basically what I'm about to do is explain to you what you can do on the common basis of you not going to sleep and avoid drowsiness. So this is this. When you're driving, right, do this. <sighs> Breathe in through your nose, inhale through your nose. Feel me? Then once you do that, you're going to release. <sighs> once you release, do not breathe back in. Don't breathe back in. Have an imagination, feel me? Learn how to have discipline. And I guarantee you that drowsiness and that tiredness will fade away easily, just like that. You don't have to go get coffee. You don't have to go do all that extra stuff. Focus on your breathing. Remember, without breathing, you don't exist in this body. And all you got left with you is your soul and your spirit, which you always going to have, no matter what body, what vessel you go into. You're always going to have conscious records. So basically, that's pretty much it. That's how you avoid drowsiness on the road. And this will actually benefit people, places, and things. This way, they will save money. You don't have to make stops or pull over. You will be fully aware. You will rejuvenate yourself without having to go through the extra turmoil. Just to be able to actually stay on the road. That's how you drive without being drowsy or falling asleep. Most of our exclusive dimension of being Kyle with another exclusive. I love y'all. <laughs>